hey everyone, it's Angel, and today I have the new Firefly collection from Super Chic Lacquer to show you, which consists of seven super jelly polishes that are jam packed with iridescent glitters and some hollow micro glitter. But these polishes are actually magic because they glow in the dark. Okay, maybe they're not really magic, but let's just pretend. Here I'm using a black light to maximize the glow because capturing a true glow of a glow in the dark polish is really, really hard, but I did my best. I found that they all have the same formula and apply pretty much exactly the same. So rather than swatch them all and bore you to death, I'm gonna show you a crap ton of pics of each polish on swatch sticks. And I'll show you pics of how they glow in the dark. But after all of the pics, I will show you how the polishes apply and I will have the tutorial for these glow in the dark mermaid nails because if you're gonna be a mermaid, you might as well be a glow in the dark mermaid. First up is Boo, a sheer lime jelly glow base with blue, purple, and green iridescent glitter and a little bit of micro hollow glitter. And then here is two coats of Boo layered over a green hollow, a white, and then two coats all by itself. And then here is Boo under the black light. And then here it is just in the dark, glowing in the dark. <laughs> this one actually had pretty good glow. Next up is Phaedra, a sheer lemon jelly glow base with blue, purple, and green iridescent glitter and micro hollow glitter. And here it is layered over a champagne hollow, then layered over white and then two coats just by itself. And then here it is under the black light. And here it is glowing in the dark. And I thought this one had a pretty intense glow to it, one of the stronger ones. Next is Xenon, a clear jelly glow base with rainbow iridescent glitter and micro hollow glitter. And then here it is layered over a black cream, a black hollow, a silver hollow, over white, and then two layers all by itself. And I don't know why I didn't take these next pictures with all of those five swatch sticks. I only took it with a three. But anyways, here it is under the black light. And then here it is glowing in the dark. And this one had the strongest glow effect out of all of them. And this one is also my favorite in the collection. Next up is Nixie, a sheer black jelly glow base with rainbow iridescent glitters and micro hollow glitters. Here it is layered over a black hollow, laid over white and two coats all by itself. This is what it looks like under the black light. And then this is what it looks like glowing in the dark or sort of glowing in the dark. Sadly, this one didn't have much glow power, but it's still a really pretty polish at least. Next up is Gloia, a sheer grape jelly base with green, blue, and fuchsia iridescent glitters and micro hollow glitters. Here it is layered over a purple hollow, layered over a white, and two layers all by itself. Here it is under the black light, and then here it is glowing in the dark. I thought this one was pretty cool because it almost has like a blue tone glow to it, a little bit different than the other ones. Next up is Dimwit, a sheer tangerine jelly glow base with green, blue, and fuchsia iridescent glitters and micro hollow glitters. Here it is layered over a hollow, white, and then two layers all by itself. Here it is under the black light. And here it is glowing in the dark. And this one has sort of a orangey yellow glow to it. And this one was one of the stronger ones. And last up, we have Starlet, a sheer cherry jelly glow base with rainbow iridescent glitter and micro hollow glitter. And here it is over a red hollow, layered over white in two coats all by itself. This is what it looks like under the black light. And then sadly, <laughs> this one didn't have much glow power. So I would say that this one was probably the least glowy out of all of them. So here are my four favorites from the collection, Gloia, Xenon, Dimwit, and Boo. Xenon definitely being the star of the show, it has the strongest glow power, but also keep in mind that photographing glow and dark polishes is super, super hard. So these all do glow stronger in person than they do on camera. And finally now onto the tutorial part of this video and you can see how these glow in the dark polishes apply and we can become glow in the dark mermaids. So for the first time on my channel is the Nourishing Ridge Filler Base Coat from Live Love Polish. 
Now this is supposed to fill in kind of the nooks and crannies on your nail and make it a little bit smoother and your polishes are supposed to go on nicer. This is the first time I'm using this so I'm going to be trying this out with my next manis and I will let you guys know what I think of it. It kind of has like a sheer milky color kind of going on. I imagine if you layered two or three coats of this you could probably get sort of that white sheer clean French manicure type of look with this. For my white base coat, I used Linen from Live Love Polish. They actually just released a whole cream collection recently, and this is the first time that I'm trying this. And it did have a nice formula. It applied really evenly. It's supposed to be a one coat white, and I would say that it was probably like 95% opaque. You could see a little bit of bare spots in person, although it could have been my application because on my other nails that I wasn't filming, I felt like it was a little bit more opaque. And finally, I'm gonna apply some glow in the dark polish. I went with Xenon because it was the strongest glow and I loved the iridescent glitters and the clear jelly base and I just thought it looked so pretty. Here is the first layer and it definitely has more of a thicker consistency and almost like a chunky application. That sounds really terrible, but I wasn't surprised by that or disappointed because anytime I use a polish like this that is just jam packed full of glitters, it's going to have this type of consistency. So it wasn't runny and it was easy to apply and you could fill in the bare spots by just kind of tapping the brush. And here is the second coat. I mean, come on, I couldn't just do one coat of glitter, please. Who am I? And like I said earlier, all of the polishes pretty much apply exactly the same. So if you're interested in any of the other colors, this is how they apply. They're just going to have a different color. So here is what Xenon looks like under the black light and glowing in the dark. And I thought it was oh, so pretty. I fell in love with this polish. I own a few other glow in the dark polishes, but none of them have this sort of iridescent glitter to them. And the glitter kind of shimmered like purple ultraviolet under the black light. And it was such a cool effect. If you're going to any sort of Halloween party that has a black light theme, this polish would be perfect. So I couldn't just stop there. I had to add more because more is always better and I decided to do some stamping over these nails. Prior to stamping, I applied some Poly Peel Cuticle Protector Liquid Latex from Bundle Monster. For the black stamping, I used Twinkle Tea's Vibing Stamping Polish and of course, my collab mermaid plate with Bundle Monster BM-XL211, the best stamping plate that ever existed. And for my stamper, I used the double-headed clear stamper from Twinkle Tea, and I thought it was so cool how it glowed under the black light. And then I peeled off my liquid latex, and it was harder than I thought filming under the black light. It was definitely playing tricks on my eyes. Whoa, that's bright. This is Yellow Stopper. You guys have seen me use this a bunch of times because it helps keep the surface of your nail tacky and it's easier to apply some stamping. And I didn't even realize, but unfortunately it glows under black light like really intensely. So it kind of skewed the look of the nails that I stamped on using it. Oh, I was so pissed at myself. But luckily it only affected the nails when I had them under the black light. When I turned off the black light and they were just glowing in the dark, you could not tell that I had yellow stopper over them. So I forgave myself. For the middle nail, I used the Mermaid Life stamp and added a couple of other little stamps, a seashell and a starfish. Is that what that's called? I'm forgetting my words. It's kind of late right now. And I was so excited with how clearly you could read mermaid because sometimes when words are that small on stamps, they're not very legible. But this one, ah, yes. And here's me just messing everything up again with the yellow stopper, but I was committed at this point and had to apply it to the other nails so that they would match. And for my index nail, I went with the cutest little treasure chest because every good mermaid likes to collect treasure and hide it in a cave, am I right? And then to remove the excess bits that I don't want to transfer to the nail, I just use a piece of scotch tape and this is where the yellow stopper comes in handy. People always ask, well, how do you transfer this dry polish to the nail? Well, the yellow stopper helps your nail to stay tacky and then it will just kind of grip the polish off of the stamper. So it doesn't matter if it's dry. 
And to go with my other treasures that I'm hiding in my underwater cave, I went with this dingle hopper. Some of you may call this a fork, but it's actually a dingle hopper. And then this is actually a self portrait of me diving in the ocean for my treasures. I hope that there's somebody watching this right now. This is their first time watching one of my videos and they just think that I'm insane. I didn't film me stamping my thumbnail because it's just incredibly hard because the angle that you have to do it at. But anyways, I went with this little pirate ship, added some water to the bottom and a bunch of seagulls. Ah, back into the regular light for top coat application here. I'm using Super Chic Lacquer's Liquid Macro Top Coat and I've been better lately by letting my stamping really dry before applying top coat because then that way it doesn't smear as easily. Although I find that the Twinkle Tea stamping polishes really don't smear that much. They're pretty great. So here is the Manny in the boring regular light, but that is no fun. We're going back into the black light. Here they are under the black light and wow, that yellow stopper is so intense. But like I mentioned before, when you turned off all the lights, regular light or black light, you couldn't tell the difference between the nails and it didn't affect the glow property. And I wore these nails for a few days and every time I would turn off the light and get into bed, I was always like, ah, my nails are glowing in the dark. I forgot every single night. I spent way, way, way too much time for an adult alone with a black light locked in my polish room just filming my finished nails. I probably have like 30 minutes of footage of me just moving my nails around in the dark. <laughs> Let me know if you guys plan on picking up any of these polishes in the comments down below. And you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at twy underscore star. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, bye bye